Uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, great, yeah. Um, okay, welcome along here. This is uh, Fourth Wave of Energy incoming on July 10th, 2020. Uh, this is an energy um, intensity window of nine days uh, beginning on Monday, July 6th and completing on July 14th, 2020. Uh, this is day two, Tuesday, J July 7th, 2020. So let's begin. And at the end, we will have added in our Monday um, areas that really popped off uh, yesterday. And again, this is a nine day intensity window and it's a level four. So the fourth wave of energy, July 10, 2020, has 12 watch areas. And um, it'll be good to follow along as, as, as we go along here. Um, check out the other video from uh, the first day one. So space weather, uh, jet stream. Ring of Fire, Airquakes, Volcano, Sea Life, uh, Economies, Middle East, United Nations, Anak, Krakatau, Cascadia, Zone, and so on, so on, Cycle, Cycle. So yesterday, um, a lot of different things were going on. And um, so let's take a look today. Uh, today, uh, we have um, Neo Wires and the Nock, Nock to Clouds all interacting kind of kick together there. I hope you can see that there. Uh, anyway, so that's the Neo Wise. And then Sunspot um, continues to get um, a little bit bigger. Uh, so we can actually uh, increase the stars. There we go. Let's see if we can find it. We should be here somewhere. There we go. Uh, two seven zig zigs, and they're saying it's a it's connected to. Uh, let's take a quick look at it. Um, it's connected to uh, here it is here. Um, right there, you might be able to see it, but that little thing there is what they're saying, and that's broke the cycle of uh, sunspot cycle. So, uh, not really a sunspot; it's more like um, a remnant. Of, uh, of uh, a solar cycle, right? So, uh, yeah, um, space weather jet stream. Uh, we looked at this yesterday that the jet stream was wobbling there. You can see today it's definitely, I don't know what it did, it just wobbled um, on, the, on, the, on the screen there. It's so crazy. And we have this as well. We can see that the jet stream caused the Atlantic shifted as well, and uh, the heat coming in there. So keep an eye on that. And, uh, the ring of fire. And uh, we can go closer here. We'll take a look at the ring of fire. There we go. And uh, so we can move this thing along here. So we kind of talked a little yesterday in the other video uh, about this area here. Let's see, Illusion Trench, the Hawaiian Hotspot, and the uh, Cocos Plate, Nazca Plate, the Pacific Plate, Indo Australian Plate, and um, yeah. So, uh, one of the areas we are definitely keeping an eye on is uh, this area here. This is the Cascadia subduction zone, keeping an eye on that. We're also keeping an eye on the Nazca plate as well, uh, due to certain movement. Um, we're keeping an eye on the Indo um, kind of Australian plate as well, especially in this area right here. And. Uh, Yeah, definitely uh, up here as well. See so here, this area as well. So, so it'd be important. Oh yeah, and over here. See, so see along here in the Middle East, right there. See right here, right there as well. So that's kind of like what we're doing with the ring of fire. Yeah. 
and the earthquakes um, I had to add this in for yesterday uh, right at the end of uh, UTC time 76 we have this one a uh, pretty big quake it was a uh, 7.6 that popped off there in Indonesia so as you can see it's right at the end of the day of UTC 76 so I added that in um, that, that's a big one that popped off and again if any if you been watching earthquakes up to that stage not really we're going off you know so yeah, let's see so uh, again seven seven we have this one in Iran quite weird uh, quite that popped off there in Iran seven seven which was today uh, four point four four point nine and we also have this one here um, another weird location the Pacific uh, Antarctic Ridge so that's kind of sudden so keep an eye on that area as well we're two strange places that popped off today so that's the energy of the wave uh, trickling in and again you have Nevada out of nowhere starting to pop up with quakes so definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, I'm going to do a thing at the end uh, when I do all the graph I'll actually go through the USGS quakes right now and see actually what's going on with the trend. Uh, it all started yesterday and it's, it's continued to move. The energy is moving across the, uh, the globe if you will. And then we have this one as well. We had that one already. Uh, so we have this one as well. Central East Pacific rise. So we've got to keep an eye on that as well. And uh, we'll, we'll actually look at them on the map. I think I'll do a quick live one. I'll look at these uh, quakes on the map and show you the trend that's actually going on uh, right now. It all started yesterday, and uh, it's kind of popping, popping up more. So this one here, in eruption minor activity. Yeah, let's have a look. So if we take a look here, we do have some uh, some eruptions there. Let's see. And one of the areas we are keeping now is in that crack attack. So you can see the activity here. And again, we're looking at in that crack of tail. Uh, I'll do it again really quick, just in case you haven't seen the other video. So this is a that crack of tail right here, right there. So we're kind of keeping an eye on that as well. See what happens with it. So, yep. And sea life, nothing really popped up with the sea life economies. Uh, yeah, a couple of weird things popped up there. Uh, the US stock started to slip down today, and uh, certain areas started to rise, but just started to slip. Uh, let's take a quick look here. We might be able to do it. So, yesterday, there was an the stock market was going up, and now there's an Will the US stock market crash in the second half of 2020? <laughs> Strange. And then we see this look US stocks. Wall Street struggles for direction after strong rally as virus cases storages. Okay. And then we have here Dow Future Slide. Dow Future Slide dollar rallies as US coronavirus infections there 3 million. Okay. And then you have US stocks Wall Street struggles for direction after stock strong rally as virus cases storage. So same kind of uh, headlines with big change from yesterday. So the US stock market is surging, but they don't know what to do with direction. So that's kind of the economy is looking at. Uh, the Middle East, kind of crazy stories uh, popped up today. Let's take a quick look. So this is a story that popped up on CNET. Uh, Twitter suspends 16 accounts linked to Middle East propaganda campaign. So weird, weird, weird things today. And then you have this popping up right wing media outlets duped by a Middle East propaganda campaign. And this is all, all the stories that are all linked to this one story. Uh, I think it's, uh, what's the what's the name? It's like Daily Beast. So all these stories that I start with, started about 14, 15 hours ago, are all connected to this one story. Because uh, there's sites like Newsmag and Muslim Examiner have published Middle East hot takes from experts who are actually fake personas pushing propaganda all through Twitter I don't know weird so that was the Middle East uh, the United Nations let's take a look this one here violent extremism does not pause for global pandemic the United Nations warns or the states to mount unified response as vital virtual counter terrorism week begins right and you can see the date it's posted 
So, as you, as you know, one of the big areas we're keeping an eye on is the United Nations. So let's take a look now. So this is the United Nations news, COVID-19, whatever that is. Adaptation and team of the lessons of the pandemic. Okay, yeah, so more UN stuff there. And then the last one. Terrorist groups must not be allowed to exploit uh, fragilities caused by global health or pandemic. Okay. So that's the United Nations. And that crack of tail, uh, absolutely amazing. We were one of the 12 watch areas and it's been very pretty dormant and the last, I don't know, 24, 26 hours it started to become active. And out of nowhere, I had a rush in yesterday. <laughs> absolutely crazy, watch. So this is an Indonesia report, Mount Anak Krakatau eruption after Rak Kas Bitung earthquake 5.4. So <laughs> I had an eruption yesterday as we were uh, um, focused in on it. It's crazy, huh? Like the, <laughs> the volcano erupted yesterday. Crazy. Uh, so here's the report talking about it and what happened and all that kind of stuff. You know, according to information submitted by the Ministry of Energy. All that good stuff. Uh, it had an eruption after a quake near yesterday, so there you go. So let's take a look at the uh, Cascadia zone, another area we're keeping an eye on. Land motion offers insights into Cascadia earthquake cycle. So they're trying to figure out uh, the next cycle of this, and it's kind of overdue for a mega quake there, so definitely keeping an eye on it closely. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see, this is Zion. Uh, uh, so as we can see, July 7th, uh, US research cruises resume gingerly. All right, all right, and uh, as soon as possible, I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, on this than I did uh, on day one. So, first, let's take a look at the human residence. Hmm. Wow, still got a spike. Wow. Let's see. So there's definitely there's a spike going on. Uh, wow, look at I think there's a big spike coming as well. So when we look from uh, this wave is gone, this wave is big, big, big wave. So we see here, look, see all this area. This one especially is what started coming in on the sixth right there. And then now we have this one as well. So these are this is the wave coming. Wow, it's usually usually it's pretty it's pretty normal like right here it's just like ebbing and flowing you know like right here these are spikes this is energy spikes right here and possibly we could be seeing something coming on day three next tomorrow so amazing that's the human resonance. Let's take a look at uh, uh, what's going on here. So yesterday we were looking at this area big time right here. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the color changes. Wow, that's, look at the energy coming in. Well, most likely that's why you have a new sunspot. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, influx here. Um, doesn't look that bad with the steel put. Wow. Okay. We still we we definitely seen something. And see this area right here. Look at that. What's that? This. See in here? Right there. Alright. So not too bad coming out, flowing up here, coming out, flowing there, flowing, flowing here. Not too bad. Let's have a look. And uh, 
let's take a look. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. <clears throat> this is what, 7-7? Seven, seven? Wow, look at that. So the first thing we're looking at is, look, look at the gap in the, in the lines here, look. See here, they're all broken. Yesterday it was half this, and look, look at that. Whoa, look at in front of, look, wow. Look at the increase. Look at the increase, and in, look, look what's going on here. Look at the increase. This band has massively changed. Wow, that's amazing. This, this is a, an amazing amount of energy. So, definitely a big change there. Okay, so that's the kind of the sunspot cycle. And what I've done is I've added uh, these areas from uh, day one. We actually open them up. We can see that this is what I was talking about just a moment ago. We can see that the waves start to impact the changes in the uh, feed lines, the blue lines, the IMF, right? And then we had the Schumann resonance was also impacted beginning yesterday, which is this area. And then we also had the Oregon uh, earthquake. So, Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go live over to uh, the USGS, the latest earthquakes. So what we're doing is we're going to take a look at the world um, quakes right now. And uh, let's go back down to the 7th. All right, interesting. Let's go to uh, maybe the 1st. Yeah, that should be good. So if we look at uh, we go to the world, take a look here. Hmm. Let's see. So we go to the seventh. Start around. So that was the one that we had to add on last night, the six point six. Oh. Just had a quick cap in there. Live. Um, okay, so we look at what's going on. So we see the energy shifting there to Iran. And the Fiji. Back to Indonesia. And that's the one we covered right there. Just quick here. The Pacific. And, uh, wow. 3.1, not too bad. Wow, the energy just bounce around all over the all over the globe big time. Covered this one as well. Yeah. Central Pacific. Hmm. Wow, the airbags are definitely like the Wow no. Wow. Hmm. around all over the place. Happened in Guinea now as well. Okay. So you can kind of see the wave there is there. One, two, this one just happened. Another one in Hawaii. In Hawaii. Uh, a little bit bigger than yesterday too. So, so that's the quakes there. Definitely uh, an increase in the last day or two. So. So anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look at the energies coming in. So we're on this, the main site right here. I'll show you guys this one. I'll actually do this live. So this is um, a flow of energies here. And uh, this is kind of like what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, see this? Let's uh, draw on this and pause as well. So, so right there, this is the energies we were talking about yesterday. That was in a static picture. And uh, we can see it lives here, here. And we can see energies flowing in the round, but then the pockets are open. See these pockets? Wow, look at the energies right there. Wow. Some, some big, big energy flowing in there. So. Let's see. Let's do. So let's 
that. Uh, let's take a look at this one live. See what's going on with it. <clears throat> So there's definitely. Oh, what's that? What was that? Wah! Hang on a second and see if we can pause this. So, right now it looks pretty normal, and then look what's happening. What is that? Wah! Look at that! What is that? Look at that. That is extraordinary. Look at that. What is, what is being pulled in there to create an energy off looks like that? That is absolutely astounding. Look at that. What, opened, what made the bands open so wide like that? Wow, that is, that's, man, this, it's a level 4 intensity window, that's good, that's, that's huge. Wow. That is pretty, pretty big. So let's take a look at that, put it again. So the energy that's flowing in, coming in. Band. Look at the band starts to open there. How can the band open like that? Look at that. Look at the distance. Look at this distance. Look at the distance here. Look. That's. It opens all the way out to here. And we, all we do is even mix the flux here and here. Absolutely extraordinary. I, I don't think people realize what's going on. This this far wave is huge, man. <laughs> wow. So let's take a look at this. Wah! Wah! Look at this! is going on look look at this look look at that what is that what that is nothing short of a extraordinary look at that all the lines are completely wiped out look at this Uh, that. What? that is some energy to do that. That is absolutely extraordinary. Look at the lions. So let's, let's go to the IMF. Feed lions. Look. Completely gone. Gone. Look at that. It's not even connected anymore. Look at that. Look at this one. These are just all over the shop. Look at that. Wow. That is extraordinary. I thought the one yesterday was crazy, but look at that. That's, that's like, a, like someone taking a massive helium balloon and blowing it up. Look, it's like a big helium balloon or something. So that's that for uh, this second uh, video. Right, I hope everybody's doing well. That's it for now. And yeah, be sure to check out the uh, day one uh, fourth wave of energy incoming July 10, 2020, day one to uh, kind of keep an eye out so you kind of can stay along with what we're doing here. Um, this is day two, so that completes this video. Okay, great.